Hey, what is going on? I'm LaPrentice Sampson and I help health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we're going to find out is Crystal Geyser water a good water to drink? Like is Crystal Geyser water good to drink? Alright? Now if you haven't seen any of these videos or if you're serious about improving your health, you want to smash that subscribe button so you get more tips, tricks, and tactics how to improve your overall wellness. Let me get this out of the way and let's get going. So Crystal Geyser water is actually a water that I used to drink all the time um, by the gallon. So not these small little bottles, but the full size gallon ones. I would do one a day. And while it's water, it is okay water, it is not the best. And our body is 75% water, so we want to drink in my opinion, what's best for our health, you know? So, let's take a look at this water, and the first thing we're gonna look at is antioxidants. And the reason why is because of everything around us. These things known as free radicals. They're, they're everywhere, they're in the air, they're in the foods that we eat, they're in our electronics, and they come in and they're taking electrons from our healthy cells, okay? And when that happens, we get two things. We get oxidation and inflammation. And those two things create a vicious cycle that is linked to every single health disease known to man, okay? And so we need antioxidants to stop that process, to actually give out extra electrons to those damaged and, and like struggling cells. So this is going to lower that inflammation, it's going to bring down that oxidation, so essentially be the fountain of youth. Now what does that have to do with our water? Our water should not be creating more dis-ease, but it should actually be giving us that antioxidants that we want. And we're gonna test that using an ORP meter. And ORP stands for Oxidation Reduction Potential, or the potential to reduce oxidation. Now if we see a positive number here, that means it is oxidizing us and it's creating more sickness and disease in the body. However, if we see a negative number, we're good. We are, it's a great antioxidant. This is the same as your fruits and vegetables, your vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. So let's see what we get here. It is raining hard out there. <laughs> and we have a 210. Showing up 210 so that, yes, it is oxidizing us, all right? Now, our water, like I said, should be antioxidant. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Just to show you that there is water out there. That is an antioxidant that's actually good for our health, that's actually going to stop the itis that we're going through, whether that's bronchitis, tendonitis, any type of itis you're going through, this is gonna help reduce that. And so as you see, this is a negative 680. All right, so yes, there is water out there that's antioxidizing, and unfortunately, this is not it. Let's take a look at another thing when it comes to if this water is good to drink. All right, second thing when it comes to Crystal Geyser being a good water to drink is the alkalinity. Now, the first thing that I just showed you, the antioxidants, the oxidizing part, that's like all you need to know, really. All this other stuff is just icing on the cake. But let's go ahead and check out the alkalinity because sickness, disease, cancer cannot survive in an alkaline environment. So we want to ensure that we are consuming foods and beverages that are alkaline in nature, all right? So we can keep our blood slightly alkaline. So let's see what we get here. Put a few of these pH drops in, and we see a red or orange or yellow. That means it is acidic. It's actually eating the minerals and electrolytes in your body, okay? We don't want that because when that happens, we get eczema, and if it continues to happen, our bones, our cartilage, our muscle tissues, all these different things, bones, joints, and our ligaments will start to erode as well. It'll start to crack, and our bones will start to crack. It'll be horrible. If we continue to get and consume more acidic things, then we'll get Alzheimer's. Then our brain will get foggy, we'll start losing memory, and I don't want that for you, okay? So, that's what happens if we go red, orange, or yellow. If we get <laughs> blue, dark blue, or purple, then we have some that's alkaline, all right? So let's see what we get. By the way, seven is neutral, and we have a little bit over seven. So with this water here, it looks like we got like a seven-ish 
or eight in between a seven and an eight, right? So this water is not that bad. It's, it's okay as far as alkalinity, um, but there always is better. You want to drink the higher the alkalinity and more of that acidity we're gonna be able to push out. Okay, so just keep that in mind. A good water, this could be considered good if it wasn't for the oxidation, but a, the best water, I would definitely say no. Let's go ahead and check out the next thing. All right, the next thing to check out for Crystal Geyser, if it's actually a good water to drink, is how well does it absorb into your body? How well do you like actually drink the water and like, okay, I feel hydrated, my mouth's not dry anymore, right? How good does it do? So we're gonna test tea, and we're gonna use tea bag to see if we can make tea as a great demonstration of how small the surface tension is on this water, all right? Now, if the water is really good, like small enough surface tension, guess what, you'll be able to make tea. And that's essentially what we do when we boil the water, right? When we take water, we boil it, we make, you know, the water molecules so small that they can actually pass through the tea bag. So let's see if crystal geyser water has that potential. All right, and it's not making tea. And I'm bouncing the bag around and you shouldn't have to jump up and down to get hydrated, right? You should immediately be able to drink the water and it goes into your body and immediately starts hydrating you. And this is not, not really doing it. So let's go ahead and try this other water over here. We'll see what we get. And look at that. It immediately starts making tea because smaller surface tension, it's better absorbed, right? So you'll actually feel hydrated when consuming this other water. But just to make sure it's not a trick, let's go ahead and try the crystal geyser again. And it's not doing it. Maybe 5% hydration. So guess what? You're gonna have to pay more money to get this, okay? To actually get the hydration that you should be getting from this one right here. You know what? Let's just say you didn't have anything. Let's say you had just barely a little, like you're on your last breath, like your last, last little bit of water. Like, I need water, I need, I need water. And you only had a little bit of something. We already see what happens with this crystal geyser. So let's see what happens when we just try a better water. It's pretty crazy, right? That's <laughs> pretty amazing. So crystal geyser, it doesn't absorb as well. So if you're actually looking for a good water to actually hydrate you, it's not gonna do it. Let's check out this last thing. All right, the last thing I wanna share about this is the fact that it comes in a plastic bottle. So there's a bonus ingredient in here. Okay, I know this comes from Mount Shasta. Bottled at the source, Mount Shasta, right? <laughs> but because it's in this plastic, guess what the plastic and the water started doing? The water starts leaching at the plastic and it creates a carcinogen known as xenoestrogen. Now, the problem with that is men and women, 75% of men and women who have breast cancer end up having too much xenoestrogen in their body. And so ultimately, I don't think any bottled water is worth consuming when it's gonna increase the likelihood of you getting cancer, right? So keep those things in mind. Is this a good water? Like in emergencies, like if you're in an emergency situation where all the power's out and all that type of stuff, and you need to take water with you, yeah, you could take this. Um, for long periods of time, I wouldn't do it. So if you're curious on what water I recommend, Highly recommend you check out my website, LaPrenticeSampson.com. Um, I have different ideas and videos and stuff there. You can also find me on Facebook. My Facebook page is down in the comments below. And there are things there that you'll love that are too hot for YouTube, so you wanna make sure you check that out. Hope this video helped answer some questions. If we change our water, just think about this, our body is 75% water. So if we change the water that we're drinking, we can change our life. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.